Uh, my name is Jerry and I'm here to share with you how I work out my life challenges and this what Bow SG is all about. Today I'm successful in my own ways. I have a group of friends and business partner. I also have some popularity online and a stable job as a marketer. In the past I used to face bullying and name calling. It made me lost interest in studies. There was nasty name calling. It made me don't feel like attending school anymore. They call me names like Donald Duck in class. It's very irritating. The classmates keep calling and it was very annoying. They make me feel depressed and the situation got worse and it became physically moving. I asked them to stop and they refused to stop name calling. I told my parents about it and they were very upset about it. And all this was due to my special condition. I have autism. It make me hard to interact with others and I do not have eye contact when talking to people. They took me for granted and there was name no main calling. It even got us into a fight. They would find random incident and challenge me to fight. They punched me and I got into trouble as the teacher thought I started the fight. Among the fights, some misfortune incident happened where one chair was thrown against an innocent person that was not involved in the fight. After the whole incident, I felt disappointed with myself that my classmate mistreated me and I thought it was hopeless to be bullied. I felt there's no point of going to school. My challenges was that I find it hard to interact with others and I couldn't perform well during physical activity which had made me quit my first CCA which was National Cadet Cup. I find it hard to get people to understand me and follow the rules. It made me do not feel like going for CCA. In class, I find it difficult to communicate my message across to others and it turned out to be another miscommunication. I remember one occasion when I tried to borrow a staple from a, from a classmate. He refused to lend it to me, so I was so upset that I torn up my exercise paper. One example of physical entity is I can't do jumping jack and turned out to be a joke on me. It made me upset, horrible, and made me quit my CCA. I was quite a friendly and helpful person. I do voluntary. Because of the bullying incident, I kept everything to myself and tried to be alone most of the time. I was anti-social during physical education. In the class, I would take a back seat and sit, sit at the table and sleep on the way. I try not to participate in any of the questions that the teacher asked. I remember my history teacher inspired us to do better in studies and he told us his life story that made me not to give up in life. He was a great role model. He inspired and did my action. His story uh, about how he gone through hell and heaven, how he had been through all the hard days and see others try to hurt themselves. He is a good role model. And he tried his best to teach, teach us and never give up on us. That made me never give up until today. There's a time when I was lost in studies. He has been approaching me after lessons and trying to help me after school and give me extra lessons. I did not want to give up on my on certain subject. At least I know there's someone there for me. I managed to help myself to do something about it. Through my history teacher, I learned that I have a choice in life. He helped me along the way if, and asked if I'm okay. I don't want to give up my favorite subject, history. And then after I spent an extra hour to read through from that moment, I told myself I have a choice and I decided not to give up. The history teacher used to screen movie to the class and share with us the inspiration find in the movie. It help, helped me to reflect upon myself and not to give up easily on life challenges and problems. I wish to have a stable job and life. 
I wanted a marketing and sales job. It's a job that get me direct with people and to know more people along the way and gain new knowledge. I went for counseling and tried to overcome my challenges. I tried to make friends along the way. I learned to face the problem and learn how to do goal setting and reflection. Counseling encouraged me to find a direction in life. During one time when I was in class, I was upset and wanted to walk out of class instead of walking out. I used what I learned during counseling, the breathing method. I quickly cool down and try to find a solution. I try to have eye contact and listen to what people have to say. I will think twice before talking. The commitment that I did, I did give is practicing in front of the mirror every day so it improved my communication skills and let me know where to improve further. I also made a commitment to talk to people and improve my communication in interacting and listening. I also read out on books on communication and watching videos how successful communicators communicate to the public and to the audience. The tip I want to share firstly, learn to be positive and be happy. The second tip is focus immediately on a solution, start by solving the problem. Ignoring a problem will only cause the problem to become bigger and bigger. The third tip is remember nobody wants you to fail. Find someone to help you and don't break everything that happened. I am Jill and I thank you for listening to my sharing. I hope you do take away something positive with you. So I am signing off and have a good day. Bye.